Hello everybody, this is Sherry at djsundry.blogspot.com and I need to make a super, super fast video for you today. I am making a card that I'm getting ready to take to church because we have a new baby at our church. And I've been working on the card. I've done a lot of the steps already, but we are going to revisit another old Cricut cartridge. The one we're vi revisiting today is Kate's ABCs. This cartridge is so much fun. The one thing about it is that it has a lot of layers. So if you have this, if you don't mind working with the layers, it's really a lot of fun. I really like the way that the cartridge handbook is set out because it's color coordinated so that you see what um, it, it puts, which layer is what color in the picture. So that kind of helps you when you're laying it out. Now I cut this little girl, this is on page 50 at, at three inches. So, and I just pretty much followed the colors that they used and I've got it all cut and put together. I did miss a couple of layers. There's a couple of center points in the flower there that I missed just because they were so tiny at three inches. Um, but it's just a really super cute cartridge. So, um, I cut that all out at three inches. Now I'm using this stamp set from Inka Dinka Do. This is um, called Welcome Baby, and I use a baby is a precious gift. Now, like I said, I'm in a huge hurry with this card, so I did have to, I did stamp it already, and I'll show that to you, and I use Memento Tuxedo Black, but this one really needs, um, probably to be sanded because there's so much dark in it that I needed to probably sand it off just a little bit. Um, for all of my colors, I use this uh, matte stack for Matchmakers 2 from Die Cuts with a View. This is the neutrals matte stack. And I pretty much, like I said, just use the colors in the book. And then I use this Cartabella paper pad as my accent pieces. Now this card's for a baby girl, but I use the blue side because the pink there's no pink in my design and I just thought it was too much with the um, little girl. So I use the, um, I plan to use the blue. So let's go ahead and get started. I've cut a white card base at four and a half inches and we are simply just going to start layering up our card. Um, I'll show you the inside in just a minute. This next layer I cut at five um, and a quarter by four and um, this is just going to be my first layer, just like that, just like so. Now the inside is already done. I cut, uh, I use some of the scraps and I use this layer and um, then I use the blue again and it kind of reminds me of sky. And again, it says a baby is a precious gift and you can see how it doesn't quite white stamp solidly so sometimes with your clear stamps you do have to sand them a little bit and I think this one's definitely going to have to be sanded. So now we have our next layer and that's going to go there but I wanted to tie some of the orange in and this orange at first glance is not the exact right color but when against the blue it works really super well. So I have this here and all I'm going to do is simply do around towards the back and I'm just going to grab a piece of tape which my scotch tape is here so I'll just use some washi tape because you won't see it anyway and just a couple of little pieces of tape and just tape it down just like so make sure I'm straight just like that Okay, and then we'll just go ahead and tape that down to our card base. Like I said, this is a really super, super simple card, um, but it did take a while to get all the layers and stuff um, cut and decided on and play with my machine and, you know, my mats, um, a lot of my mats need to be re-stickied, if that's even a word. And so I had to recut things because my mats needed some work. So that brings us to the image. And isn't she adorable with these cute little brown bunnies? And she's just a really cute image. And um, my initial thought was just to taper down, but I am putting this actually with a gift. Um, and so I don't care about bulk because I'm just hand delivering it. So I think I'm gonna go ahead and get some foam. I think that will work really well. 
So let's just get a big chunk of foam here. And we'll just put, put her on foam adhesive just to give it that little extra pump, punch of um, dimension. And I'll just put it in a few places. Um, I think this one I'm just going to cut lengthwise here because that's a narrow strip but I, it definitely will need to be stuck down, at least in some places. Of course, I want to make sure that I don't have any foam tape showing on the front. And let's put this one here. And we'll put this one right about there. So now we'll just peel off our backing. Just like so. Sorry about that. It takes a minute to get all the foam stuck and unstuck. Okay. And just kind of center it. Now, as far as this blue piece, I don't know the measurement off the top of my head. The way I measured it is I measured it by what fit that I cut. So it's probably like, maybe like four and three quarter inches long by maybe three and a half inches tall. So that's just approximate. So there we have our cute little card for a sweet little girl that was just born. So thanks so much for stopping by as we revisit another Cricut cartridge that's an oldie but a goodie. Thanks for stopping by and remember, take some time to enjoy the little things. Have a great day. Bye.